We will first address this specific question. There are many aspects of mm, life on Earth where you will find angelic frequency, light. Uh, the way the light hits the land can, can create angelic portals where you can feel or even see angelic energy uh, in the light window that gets created by the way the sun or the light uh, or the moonlight is hitting a certain part of nature or a certain uh, wall in your house or the way a light prism reflects and shows you mm, 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 filaments of angelic light. So uh, the angelic frequency exists on earth as its own dimensional realm. You will feel it around you. You will have interactions with others that are imbued with angelic energy. For example, you may be having a particularly difficult day and somebody smiles at you in the most angelic way and you feel as if an angel just gave you a hug. Well, they did. Uh, angels work with humans too. They will uh, work with the human to channel angelic energy. So you may say, ah, that human was so kind. And we will say, yes, they were, but they were also receptive to angelic energy at the time that wanted to flood through them. Sometimes humans don't know why they are smiling at you so big. They were just open hearted enough to allow angelic energy to flow through them. And there are many humans on the planet, many of you in this group included, who are deeply connected to the angelic frequency. It is a home you have never forgotten. It is a home you remain connected to, and it is an energy that you emit. Uh, crystals specifically are what we would call a grounding force of angelic energy on the earth, uh, for they connect deeply into the earth, and yet they are angelic points of frequency. So it does not mean that every single crystal will resonate with you, and it does not mean that every single crystal will be high in angelic frequencies, uh, but particularly the lighter crystals, crystals that you can literally see through or have a translucency to them, uh, you will often associate these with the lightness of healing that angelic energy can bring. And then crystals that are a little more dense, even down to the one that Lee is holding, the Labradorite he has, that is what we would call uh, earth angel energy. It is a deep grounding of angelic frequency when there is a little less mm, reflection available through it. So crystals have their own character just as humans do. There is the grounded earthy human who will give you a big hug and there is the light mm, fairy-like human who will not give you a hug but will give you a translucent smile. Both have a positive effect uh, and it is the same with crystals. They all have a connection to not just the angelic frequencies, but the realm of spirit uh, and the realm of the stars. Uh, that is the other piece that must be understood. You see, angels have often been attributed to Earth, but angels from our vantage point are far more cosmic than they have ever been allowed to be seen as. Angels are uh, quite literally universal. Uh, they are not Earth-bound, and yet so many of your, mm, mm, shall we say, religious stories have mm, fixed angels into a very specific organized dimension that is, uh, we would call it, half the story. Uh, because half of the story in many of your religious tomes uh, has been edited uh, to mm, keep you all fixated on a much smaller realm and organization of spirit than is the truth, which is you are in spirit. You are all living in a spiritual realm and you are souls living in spirit. So for example, as a soul, you see and experience yourself as an individual, but you are part of a collective of humanity. And so your soul lives within the collective of spirit, the spiritual dimension that all of your souls reside and interact with each other from and within. For those of us who are sensitive, intuitive, or walking a spiritual path, it is our practices and the support that we have in our life that often is the key to how well we can walk through life. 
Nine years ago, I created the portal to be an answer to that need for members of my community who wanted to go more in depth with my work. And while my work is still very much a centerpiece of the portal, we have now added other teachers, other voices, other offerings, so that the portal can become a well-rounded place for you to receive nourishment and be uplifted, shifted and supported every single month. My aim with the portal has always been to offer you as much value for your membership as possible. And I feel like in the last year or so, we have really been able to maximize that. So we look forward to welcoming you to the portal. And we hope it is a place that can nourish your mind, your body and your soul.